Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. Today we will discuss about what is the method of the undetermined coefficients. Myself, Dr. Gurg. What is the objective of this lecture is we will see how you can find the particular integral abbreviated as a PI by using the method of undetermined. This method is applicable only when this R of x is a non-zero. So whenever there is a R is non-zero, then we can find the solution of this problem that is a second order differential equation by using yc that is a complementary solution as well as the particular integral we all already know that how you can find the uh, complementary solution by using the auxiliary equation while this particular integral you can use this as of the either as operator method either as a method of the undetermined coefficients or either you can use as the variation of the parameter so now in this lecture we will see the method of the undetermined coefficients so that method is depending upon the nature of this Rx, whether this Rx is of the exponential form, whether it's a polynomial form, whether it's a trigonometry forms or of the constant forms are there. According to their natures, we will take the particular integrals R of here. If it is exponential, we will take as the exponential nature, polynomial, then it's a polynomial and then so on. So in this here, we will discuss only for the first part while the second, third and we will see in the work next videos. So we will explain all these six examples are there. You can see the right hand side is my, this is not the exponential, but we will still solve this one. This all are the exponentials are there and how we can solve this in this video. Uh, myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos of these differential equations. Now, now, uh, let's see how you can solve this one. So you can see that the right hand side is a non-zero and the coefficients are my constants. So you can see the coefficients are my constants. So the general equation of this is written as y complement, y particular. So let's say firstly find the complement solution. We can write the auxiliary equation as m square minus 3m plus 2. Can you find the roots of this equation? Yes, you can easily find that 1 and 2. Once you can find the roots, so you can write the complementary solutions as of c1 e raised to power 1x, c2 e raised to power 2x. Or you can say, these are my, nothing but my basis are there. How you can find the particular integral? Your target is, now how I take this one? So forget, firstly, you have to think about that. Since this is my polynomial, this is my exponential are there. So you have to consider the exponential of this nature, whatever it is written and multiply with some constant. So that is your target is to find this constant A are there. Second thing you have to focus on it is that you have to check whether e raised to power 3x present in this yc or not. So it clearly sees that e raised to power 3x is not present. What will happen if it is present? We will see in our next example, that is example number 2. So now once its yp is there, now you have to find the value of the y dash. It is nothing but 3a e raised to power 3x. For that, you need the y double dash also. You can find the value of this. Substitute all these values in here. After solving, you can find the value of a easily. Can you find the value of a easily? Now you can compare them. What will happen? 2 of a is nothing but my 1, a is my half. So therefore, you therefore once a is half, you can substitute here, yp is nothing but my here. So you can substitute all value of this, yc is my here, yp is this, so the general solution is my here. This is the way you can solve them. Look at the second example where I have, you can see that this example is similar as that of the previous one. You can see the right hand, left hand side is same. I just replace the left right hand side are there. Again, uh, as we discuss in this same are there, so you can obtain the value of C as of this. Now, how you can take the Y of P? So I, if I take Y of P is here, you can see since this is of here, so I can take as a constant X. E raised to power 2X is also present here. So you can see these two terms are similar because A and C2 both are constant. So how you can solve them? So if you try to solve this, you can find the y dash, you can find the y double dash and substitute the value here. What you get, you see that zero is nothing but here. So can you find the value of a from here? It doesn't be. So what is the meaning of that? This impossible solution tells that there is no particular solution of the form here. So that means our target is to find the suitable form of the function. It means this is not the suitable form. How you can remember that which one is the suitable form? That is depending upon this here. You can see that if if uh, if if you take here as a e raised to power 2x of this, you have think that whether this is present in the yc or not. 
if it is present then how many times it is present you can see e raised power 2x present one time so you have to multiply x as a one time so you can see that if e raised power 2x present two times that we will see in our next example so now you can see this is a e raised power 2x appears one time in the yc so i can multiply with this with as a 1x now you can find the y dash you can find the y double dash and substitute the value again in the given equation this is the value of the y double dash this is the value of the y dash and this is the value of y now after the simplify you will get here now you can compare the coefficients a will be my 4 so what is the value of the yp particular integral is nothing but my here so therefore you can substitute the value in the general solution you will get as the required solution as of here look at the another one is there so you can see uh, again right hand side is a non-zero so you can find the firstly yc and the yp both so you can find the auxiliary equation of this like say m square minus 2m plus 1 you will get here so what is the value of the yc is now they have equal roots so you can write like of this c1 x c2 and so on like here or else you can write if you write like this way you can open the bracket you can get the same result of here now how you take the how you take the yp so since it is of e raised power x so you have to write e raised power x here now you can check that e raised power x appears in this or in this how many times so e raised power x appears two times e raised power x here e raised power x also here so it means you have to multiply this by x square why because if if you take this then it is already present here if you take only one x then you can say x into e raised power x is also present here so that means you have to multiply one x more time so therefore your yp is nothing but here now you can take again y dash y double dash and substitute the value at here you will get this is y double dash this is y and after simplify what will happen you will get a as of half so therefore yp is nothing but my half x square of ex substitute the value here you will get the required journal solution look at this another example is there here you can see that the coefficients are not are not constant so what is the meaning of that your first target is to convert this equation into the constant coefficients so do you remember that which one is there as we discussed in the previous example what is that this is nothing but my cauchy euler equation b why because a is x square then it's the second derivative one then it's the first derivative and so on so how you can solve the cauchy euler equation you have to take this x is e raised power z once it is here then what is the value of this this is nothing but the second derivative minus of here what is the value of the x y dash is nothing but my dy upon dz now you can substitute these two values into here what will happen is and x what is the value of the x is e raised power z now here you can see this is the constant coefficient now right hand side is my exponential parts are there now you we can perform as such the general solutions are here where y c is can be written like this way what is the value of the y is c1 plus c2 now here m is in terms of the z so you can write here as of z e raised to power 2z so or you can write like this this way here how you can take the value of the yp is since this is my equation so this is a e raised to power 2z whether e raised power 2z appears here no simply e raised power z appears but e raised power 2z not be appear so you can take yp as such so you can find the y dash y double dash you can substitute this value in here you will get the expression as of here a is 2 yp is nothing but here so therefore the general solution of my problem is this one since z x x is my e raised to power z so what is the value of the z is nothing but my log of x you can substitute the value here you will get the required general solution look at one more examples are there now you can see there are the two exponential terms are there so we will firstly find the auxiliary equations m square plus 6 and so on you can get the solutions as of minus 1 minus 5 so what is the yc solutions are there that is c1 e raised to power minus 1x plus c2 e raised to power minus 5x these are here now how you can take the yp is there so corresponding to this it will be my a e raised to power minus x corresponding to this it can be written as e raised to power 5x 
so now you can check that whether e raised to power minus x appears here yes it appears so you can how many times appears only one time so you have to multiply this by x whether e raised to power 5x appears here no e raised to power minus 5x appear but plus is not be there so there is no need to multiply x so what is the yp is my x a x e raised to power minus x and so on rest part is similar you can compute the y double dash y dash substitute the value here you will get after simplify you here now you can equate the coefficient of e raised to power minus x you can equate the coefficient of e raised to power 5x and now you can equate them here definitely this will be cancelled out if you open them so what is the value of this so what is that 4 of a is nothing but 2 16 of 60 of b is nothing but my 10 so you can easily find the value of a and b here so once a and b are here you can substitute this yp is here yc is my here so the general solution is my here look at the last example so here again the right hand side is my exponential part you can find the auxiliary equation here so can you find the roots of this you can easily find the roots are there 3 and minus 1 so you can see what is the value of the yc here how you can take the value of the yp this is a e raised to power minus x check whether e raised to power minus x appear here yes this is here how many times only one times so you have to take x as a 1 so your yp will be my ax of this now compute your y dash compute your y double dash as per this requirement substitute the value this you will get expression here since the right hand side is only e raised to power x so definitely this will be cancelled out once you will open this bracket view so once you will solving here e raised uh, minus 4 of a is nothing but 2 a is my minus half so therefore yp is nothing but my here so therefore you can substitute the value here as a yc this as a yp we will get as of this one so this is the simple procedure how you can solve this method of undetermined coefficient when this is of the exponential form however we will solve the next lecture when the right hand side instead of the exponential it's a polynomial type either x x x square x cube or x minus one and so on how we can solve this we will see in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various updated videos best of luck students happy learning